Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Appearances can be deceiving. From gentle giants who can rip your face off to sea beasts that will try to drown you, here are 11 animals that are very cute but can be deadly. Number 11. Slow Loris The Slow Loris is a small, utterly adorable, extremely rare nocturnal primate that is native to Southeast Asia and its bordering areas. It moves about slowly, hence its name, and has large, innocent-looking eyes. Upon encountering one, your first instinct might be to pick it up and cradle it like a baby. But as the world's only poisonous primate, the Slow Loris is far more dangerous than it looks. When threatened, it releases a toxic, foul-smelling fluid from glands in its elbows. The creature then mixes some of this fluid with its saliva and bites its intended target. Strangely enough, slow lorises have evolved to share some of the same traits as a cobra. They make hissing noises, have similar markings, venom in their elbows, and they even move like a snake. Looking like a cobra would definitely be helpful when trying to escape a predator, but it's not enough to escape humans. While some people clip the animal's teeth in order to safely keep them as pets, instead of taking away its natural defense mechanism, it's best to leave this highly endangered species to its own devices in the wild. Captivity is extremely stressful for slow lorises because it prevents them from fully engaging in their natural behaviors, like nocturnalism, traveling long distances, and fulfilling their complex dietary needs. You may have seen them looking extremely cute, raising their arms in videos as a reaction when people tickle them. In reality, they are feeling extremely threatened and are trying to protect themselves with their poison elbow. Many of these animals are victims of the illegal pet trade and could even fund organized crime around the world. International Animal Rescue has a pledge you can sign to raise awareness at ticklingistorture.org. Number 10. Giant Panda Giant pandas are cute, seemingly really relaxed herbivores. It's no wonder they have a reputation for essentially being big teddy bears who are more or less harmless, especially compared to other ursine species like grizzlies and polar bears. Contrary to this image, these alleged gentle giants are capable of much more than leisurely laying around, snacking on bamboo, and looking like they're waiting for a cuddle. In fact, the giant panda has one of the highest bite forces of any carnivore. This is an evolutionary trait that developed to accommodate the animal's dietary staple, bamboo. What's more, while giant pandas don't crave meat and are not inherently aggressive, like most animals, they have a breaking point and will attack someone who makes them feel threatened. Several documented instances of giant pandas attacking humans disprove the widespread notion that they're incapable of violence. There have been three cases at the Beijing Zoo alone, including one incident where a drunk man climbed into the panda enclosure and attempted to pet one, only for his right calf to be brutally mangled. The other two attacks at the Beijing Zoo resulted from guests falling into the enclosure. Don't wake the bear. Stories like this prove that no matter how cute a creature is, wild animals and humans are not meant to be in close contact with one another, and especially don't catch them by surprise. Number 9. Moose Moose are cute in a goofy, lovable way. Many people don't associate them with danger, even though they're massive, with males reaching up to 7 feet tall at the shoulder and 10 feet long, and weighing as much as 1,500 pounds. It's true that moose are not vicious by nature, but the idea that they don't attack humans is an alarmingly hazardous misconception. In Alaska, more people are injured by moose than bears. While moose often flee when threatened, there's also the possibility that they will respond combatively. Moose defend themselves by stomping, kicking, and charging, posing the obvious risk of serious injury. Things like traffic, harassment by people, dogs, and other creatures, fatigue, and hunger can trigger the animal's aggressive side. While males are more likely to act violently during breeding season, moms with young calves are especially territorial during late spring and early summer. By researching an animal and taking proper precautions, people can reduce the likelihood of a hostile encounter and protect their pets as well. Knowing the signs of an impending attack and how to respond when a moose charges can be potentially life-saving, along with respecting their need for space and thinking twice before feeding one or trying to take a selfie with it. And now for number eight. But first, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to John Stafford Sablin, who is a new subscriber. Welcome, John. Number eight, raccoon. Raccoons seem as cuddly as a beloved family cat or dog with their cartoonish black masks and bushy ringed tails. But it's best to avoid these nocturnal North American cuties at all costs and for several reasons. 
Raccoons are quick to bite and scratch anyone who invades their space, including humans. They also commonly carry numerous dangerous diseases, particularly rabies. Attack victims are therefore at risk of both serious injury and of being infected by a potentially lethal illness. This is why it's so important to vaccinate pets against rabies and for both people and pets to immediately receive medical care if they come into contact with a raccoon. Besides being hazardous to living beings, raccoons can also cause major damage to the interiors and exteriors of homes and other structures. Because they've become semi-reliant on humans for food and tend to seek shelter as winter approaches, they often live in close proximity to people and sometimes even try to enter their homes. To keep raccoons away, you can take common sense precautions like keeping outdoor garbage cans tightly sealed, securing chimneys, vents, windows, and all other potential ports of entry into the home, and keeping gardens and compost piles away from the house. And above all, people should always call a professional to deal with these unwanted visitors and should never try to handle a raccoon on their own. Number 7. Gray Seal Gray seals are adorable, especially as pups. At first glance, they seem totally non-threatening, despite their large size. Even researchers admit that the gray seal has the image of a nice, cuddly, friendly animal that just eats fish. For quite some time, scientists indeed believed that gray seals fed almost exclusively on fish such as cod, but evidence increasingly suggests that these deceptively harmless-looking animals are fearsome predators. In 2013, marine biologist Sebastian Furman watched a harbor seal and a gray seal enter the North Sea together off the German island of Heligoland. We thought they were playing, Furman told National Geographic in 2015. It looked really cute, but in just a few seconds, it was over. Suddenly, the water near the pair turned red as the gray seal killed and ate the harbor seal. And initially, nobody suspected gray seals of being the killers. Furman's observation, along with similar eyewitness accounts, points toward the gray seal as the culprit behind the mutilation of these animals in the region. Additionally, two 2014 studies turned up gray seal DNA in the wounds of heavily injured harbor porpoises. One of the gray seal's preferred killing methods involves ambushing a harbor porpoise and submerging them until they drown. While scientists do not dispute documented attacks, some doubt that gray seals are primarily responsible for all the injured and dead animals that keep turning up. Instead, they suggest that ship propellers are largely to blame, and that in most cases, gray seals merely scavenge the remains. Meanwhile, many other predators, including the Greenland shark, have been eliminated from the suspect list. Researchers are unsure of the causes behind the gray seal's apparent shift in behavior and food preferences. Number 6. Swans Swans may not exactly be cute, but they are visually appealing and elegant and are widely admired for their beauty and gracefulness. But these lovely birds, who have very few natural predators, are not as docile as they seem. Swans are very powerful, weighing up to 33 pounds and with wingspans measuring between 6.6 .6 and 11 and a half feet long. They are also extremely territorial and are known to become aggressive towards humans who get too close for comfort, especially if they have cygnets or baby swans to protect. Ornithologists, the appropriately named Dr. David Bird's wife, Tony, learned this the hard way as a teenager. While relaxing on a raft in a lake in Switzerland, she failed to hear people's frantic warnings of a nearby angry mama swan and her youngsters. When she noticed the family, she slipped into the water and used her raft as a makeshift barrier between herself and the birds as she paddled through the deep water to get away from them. She narrowly avoided a physical encounter and luckily emerged from the situation unscathed. But things could have turned out much worse. Swans can advance toward their target very quickly, and they typically attack by biting or even trying to drown their opponent. They're equipped to defend against predators like raccoons and foxes, and are quite capable of seriously injuring humans. A few people have even been killed in freak accidents with swans. The good news is that swans generally only attack humans who pose a perceived threat to them and or their babies. In other words, by keeping a safe distance, you will probably avoid any unwanted contact. Number 5. Chimpanzee It's easy to consider chimpanzees less threatening than larger primates such as gorillas, and they certainly look sweet and huggable, especially as babies. People even want them as pets to replace human children. They are also highly intelligent and capable of learning complex communication skills, and they share between 95 and 98 percent of their DNA with humans. So it's understandable that some people might mistakenly believe chimps are easy or pleasant to interact with. But this is often simply not the case. While adult males only weigh up to 130 pounds, and females weigh 100 pounds at most, chimpanzees are at least three times stronger than the average adult human. 
And if they want to overpower a person, they will. Despite their ability to understand humans and peacefully convey their thoughts, chimpanzees are not good rule followers. They behave unpredictably, are impulsive and prone to becoming aggressive without warning, have destructive tendencies, and are known to bite, sometimes resulting in serious injury. On the other hand, you may be surprised to learn that gorillas, despite their intimidating appearance, their weight of up to 350 pounds, and being slightly less intelligent than chimpanzees, have barely any track record for attacking humans, minus instances where they felt the need to defend their offspring. Historian Robert Bluestein says if you had to be mauled by one or the other, the gorilla is many times stronger, but the chimpanzee is much more likely to bite your face, pulling the skin away from your skull while using its feet to gouge your eyes out. I think I'll err on the safe side of admiring both primates from afar. Number 4. Giant Anteater The strange-looking but cute giant anteater is the largest of four existing anteater species and dwells in savanna-like fields in Central and South America. It has no teeth, poor vision and hearing, and dines almost exclusively on bugs. Knowing all this, it may seem almost laughable that anyone would fear a giant anteater, even though they grow up to 7 feet long and weigh as much as 140 pounds. But it's actually smart rather than silly to stay away from them. While aggression isn't part of the animal's daily lifestyle, a giant anteater will readily unleash its wrath when necessary, including during a confrontation with a human. And considering its ability to fight off predators like jaguars and pumas, putting a person in line is a piece of cake. Attacks by jaguars are no joke, so you can imagine what it will do to defend itself. When cornered, the giant anteater stands on its hind legs and reacts ferociously. Its forelimbs contain four sharp claws each, which are capable of inflicting deadly wounds. In 2012, a Brazilian hunter confronted a giant anteater with a knife to try rescuing his dogs, who had curiously approached the animal. The anteater grabbed the man with its forelimbs, and although his sons eventually freed him from the creature's angry clutches, the damage was done and he lost his life. Two years earlier, a giant anteater attacked an elderly man under similar circumstances. In both cases, the victim's femoral arteries were severed by the animal's razor-sharp claws. Number 3. Wolverine A member of the weasel family, the wolverine looks more like a young bear than a vicious killer. It only grows up to 3 feet long and weighs between 20 and 66 pounds. But the wolverine is one of nature's most efficient and ruthless predators. While it often preys on small mammals, it's been known to occasionally take down moose and doesn't think twice about stealing food from a bear or a wolf. Propelled by a voracious appetite, the wolverine successfully targets and challenges animals much larger than itself, courtesy of its running speed of up to 15 miles per hour, its sharp teeth and claws, and its world-famous fearless attitude. Wolverine attacks against humans are rare, but they happen, and several documented past instances resulted in serious injury or death. This isn't surprising. After all, an animal who isn't afraid to swipe a meal from an 800-pound grizzly bear certainly won't back down to a person who's merely a fraction of that size. Number 2. Leopard Seal The leopard seal is a much-favored sight among cruise-goers. It's easy to see why people look forward to catching a glimpse of these seemingly angelic, ocean puppy-like creatures. In reality, the woefully misunderstood leopard seal is both a vital component to Antarctic ecosystems and one of the region's most hellacious predators. It's also the world's third largest seal species, with females, who are larger than males, weighing up to 1,300 pounds and measuring up to 10 feet long. Leopard seals don't play well with others, period. They hunt alone, and minus the exception of breeding season, they're typically only seen with one or two other seals. Besides highly valuing their precious solitude, leopard seals have an exceptionally nasty disposition. In 2003, a 28-year-old marine biologist's life was cut short at the hands of a leopard seal. The animal pulled Kirstie Brown, who was with the British Antarctic Survey, underwater while she snorkeled off the Antarctic Peninsula. Her colleagues tried to save her, but it was too late. Scientists don't know why the seal attacked Brown and are unsure whether it intended to gravely harm her. Interactions between leopard seals and humans are admittedly varied and sometimes peaceful, but would you take your chances knowing what they're capable of? I sure wouldn't. Number 1. Dolphins Dolphins are extremely curious, approachable, and friendly. On the other hand, they are highly intelligent and will not hesitate to defend themselves if provoked. The BBC says that besides being cute and cuddly, they are also known for violent mating practices, incest, and infanticide. Just like humans, they can be nasty and conniving, says the Dolphin Research Alliance. They will organize and attack sharks, each other, and their own babies, and bludgeon them to death if necessary. 
there has been a dramatic rise in killer attacks by dolphins on porpoises in one of Britain's main breeding areas. Experts have witnessed porpoise bodies with punctured lungs and deadly internal injuries inflicted by dolphins. While attacks on humans are extremely rare, they could easily do the same to us. Respect their space and admire them from a distance in the wild. Thanks for watching! Which of these animals is your favorite? Were you surprised by any of these? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later! Bye!